Ah, at long last, I have been wanting to play the near games on this channel for ages. And it's finally time. Here we go. Welcome everyone to Playframe. My name is Dan and this is Near Replicant, which is a remake of a 2010 messy but fascinating action RPG called Near that barely anyone played, so I'm glad it's getting a second chance. Uh, as you may have guessed from that story mode intro thing, uh, this is going to be a pretty story focused playthrough. We are going to try to squeeze as much story out of this as we can. We're going to get to all of the endings, do most of the side quests, just going to try to thoroughly explore the story of this game and later on uh, near Automata as well. And also we will edit out a lot of the boring or repetitive gameplay parts because Nier has a lot of those in places. So we'll just try to keep things nice and breezy. Now, two things real quick before we start. One, this game is rated M for mature and for every reason, the language, violence, partial nudity, just all the stuff, um, which I'm guessing a lot of you are fine with, but I know we do skew family friendly on this channel a lot of the time. So I figured I'd give you the heads up just in case. Two. Let's try to not post any spoilers down in the comments, uh, both for this and for Near Automata, the sequel. Um, partly for my sake, I've not played Near Automata yet, and it's been over a decade since I played this one. But even more so for the sake of other people watching, again, very few people played the original Near back in the day, so I'm guessing a lot of people watching this are experiencing it for the first time, and I would not want to take away that first time experience from anybody, because this is a fascinating weird mess of a game <laughs> and it should be very fun all right enough let's go new game and normal should be fine i think we can change it anytime uh, oh we need to enter our name or rather our main character's name which is to say near i would go with dan but honestly they're gonna be i don't need characters referring to me by name throughout this that would be that'd be weird we good confirm set your name as near yes December 22nd. The snow won't stop falling, so Nier said he'd stay here with me until it stops. He'll probably leave again when it does, so I kind of hope it snows forever. Couple things you need to know about this going in. This game is going to try to make you feel very sad a lot of the time. Sometimes it's going to try too hard. <laughs> it doesn't always work. But sometimes it very much does. Also, the music in this game is incredible and really unique. So, uh, strap in for some very, very good tunes. Summer 2053. I do love the delayed display of summer text there. Fuck. 
And here we go. Uh, press square to attack and L2 to defend. Okay. Get away, you freaks! I'll kill you all! So welcome to Nier. Kind of. those things anywhere near you. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. <laughs> oh, and Yona. Y yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it? More of them. Damn, how many of these things are there? They just keep coming. I won't let you lay a finger on Yona. And so now we have a book. And you can press L1 for Dark Hand. So, we're, we're getting access to some of the magic you have in this game now. So, <laughs> press L1 to punch. It's very effective. Our, uh, our magic meter is up in the top right. It's the blue one, but it will keep refilling itself kind of automatically. Magic is very useful. Hey, we leveled up. So we got block. Our attacks. Ow. And our book punch. You can now press R1 for dark blast. So we have a new spell. Let's see. Oh, it's a projectile, sort of like a machine gun sort of thing. Charging. Hold the attack or magic buttons to charge your attacks, altering their effects. This can be performed at any point during a combo attack. Uh, all right. Boy, we're leveling up fast. So, in holding down the rapid-fire thing, if I let go, it sort of lets loose a flurry of, uh, seeking projectiles. For the fist attack, whoop, you can now press L1 for dark execution. Oh, it's just an entirely different spell now. Okay. Um, so, if I release now, 
Hey, nice. If I just tap it, it just uh, lets loose a line of these spear things. If I hold it for a second, uh, we get a line in either direction. A little bit longer, a line in four directions to eight directions. And we can mix and match these spells at will. The combat in this already feels considerably better than in the original Nier. Uh, the combat was one of the weakest aspects of the original game. There, there was a lot clunky about the original Nier. There's a reason that it was received, or that it received a kind of middling reception. There's a lot to like about Nier, but it was very rough around the edges and felt pretty behind its time uh, systems-wise, even at the time when it came out. Uh, but uh, this has been polished up a good bit. I'm willing to bet there's still going to be some weird rough edges in there, just because it's the nature of Nier, but uh, this should be fun. Evading. Press R2 to evade. Uh, perform an evasive roll. Keep holding L after evading to sprint. Oh, okay. So, a roll. And now we're sprinting. Nice. Yeah, character movement and animation in this remake is considerably boosted. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool little move. How did I do that? I, like, attacked... Oh, like, if you do it near an enemy, you, like, dash around them. That's awesome. That is also very new. <laughs> I played, like, the first hour of the original Nier on my own before this just to try to, like, get a feel for how much had been upgraded and changed. It is the same game, effectively, but, uh... They have taken those rough edges and polished them a good bit, it seems like. Which is very welcome. Because as much as there is to like about Nier, those rough edges definitely made it a bit more of a chore to play sometimes. <laughs> uh, you can now press L1 for Dark Lance. Ooh, a new spell. All right. So if I just press it, we just fire a spear. A very strong one, seems like. If I hold it, we charge up a bunch of these spears. Awesome. Okay. Get out of here. Yeah, this combat already feels a lot better. Which is good, because we're going to be doing a lot of it. <laughs> See what I mean about the music, though? It's just getting started. This is going to be a good time. Hello. And we got a boss. Ah, jeez. Look out. Let's try our charged up Dark Spear. I bet that's going to do great. Pretty good. Ah, oh, jeez. Get out of here. Shoo. Eh. Whoa! Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to you back there. Gracious! <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> ah! Hit it! There we go. Yeah, combat has been improved in so many subtle ways, which makes sense. Uh, some of the same folks who were behind the... Uh, combat design in Nier Automata, which was itself considerably improved on the combat front. Some of the folks from Platinum Games were also uh, involved in this remake in sort of bringing the original game's combat up to the standard that Automata set. And that is a welcome change. <laughs> we'll talk some more about the other key differences between this and the original Nier a little bit later, once we're not in the thick of big things. Can I do, like, a mid-air evade? Yes, I can. Cool. Love that. How many of these can we charge? Seems like a lot. Yep. It's a lot. Gracious. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's finish it. There we go. Attack gauges. When fighting large enemies, attack gauges will often appear on specific parts of their bodies. Destroy those parts within the time limit to defeat the enemy. Ooh, okay, so. 
There we go. That's a lot of levels. Yona. <laughs> Yona, talk to me. It's okay. I'm fine. What about you? Ah, those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow. Is that a cookie? Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <coughs> Yona! Yona! Oh no. I'm sorry. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. Yona! Why did you? If any of you all out there have not played a near game before, I promise you, you are in for a fascinating time. It doesn't always work, everything Nier tries to do, but it tries to do a lot, and it's always interesting. Case in point. <laughs> 1,412 years later. All right, I'm heading out. And here we are. This is more than near I'm familiar with. Can I come with you today? Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. And here we are. Let's talk some more. Um, love you. Aw. These sweethearts. All right. Do uh, you have anything else to say? I'll be good while you're gone. I promise. Oh, good. Because how much do you have to say? I'm sorry. I'm so sick. I don't feel like you need to apologize for that. Be careful. Okay? Goodness. People have a lot to say. Um, love you. We're going to have to really dark souls it around here with the NPCs. <laughs> I love how already the house makes no sense. <laughs> Let's go upstairs this way and arrive on that side. <laughs> I also just really adore. This is a thing that Nier does. Nier plays with camera conventions and kind of gameplay styles a lot. Uh, and I love this little sort of diorama style of having house interiors. It's very cool. Uh, let's collect some stuff. A medicinal herb. 100 gold. And that'll do. 
I should go to the library and see what Popola is up to. And here we are. Looking good, Nier. Quite an improvement. <laughs> the original game was released for the 360 or the PS3, depending on <laughs> depending on where you live. And uh, again, even for its time, though it had a really it has a really neat art style. Like I, the art of Nier holds up very well. The graphical capabilities <laughs> of the game, even for its time, left a bit to be desired. So. I'm honestly astounded that Nier is getting this treatment, or that we're in a future where not only did it get a sequel, but it gets a remake. Because <laughs> it was, it did not sell well in its day, nor was it reviewed super well in its day. Understandably, to a certain extent, because again, it's, uh, it had a lot of problems. Its combat was like, B- minus at best, at a time when there were a lot of really good character action RPGs out there. Devil May Cry's, God of War's, Kingdom Hearts's. It, original Nier's combat does not hold up at all. <laughs> but it's nice having that improved. And other little small improvements, like if you just keep running in a direction for a little bit, uh, boom, you'll start sprinting at a certain point. That's very welcome, because we're going to be running around a lot. And I think if I just dodge once... Yeah, instant sprint. Awesome, I think. Uh, also, we had some... There were some little chicks around here. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> so, before we move things forward... Um, Actually, hang on. Let me just go examine this object over here. You can use mailboxes to save your progress. Mailboxes can be found all over the world, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Fantastic. So, the big thing worth mentioning before we get too far into this, uh, is that this... If you did play the original Nier, um, one of the major, major differences in this remake here is the main character. Um, I guess this is kind of common knowledge for anyone who knows about the game, but for those of you who are experiencing this for the first time, um, Nier, as it was originally released in 2010, the Western and, uh, like, Japanese releases of Nier had completely different versions of the main character. The, uh, Yoko Taro, the director's original, um, intent was for this young Nier boy here to be the, uh, to be your main character, and for Yona to be, uh, Nier's sister. For the Western release, because they thought that it would, um, just be received better by the Western audience, they aged Nier up to be an adult and made Yona his daughter. So, and other than that, like, and some dialogue adjustments between the two versions of the game just to match the uh, age of the, uh, of the Nier player character a little better, everything else about the game is the same. It's just the player character being older. And it has some interesting effects, like the father-daughter dynamic between Nier and Yona works really well. Uh, well enough that I, like, I, on paper, I feel like I, having not really experienced this younger Nier version of the game, I really like Papa Nier, and I'm almost sad that we're not getting to uh, see him in this. However, I um, am quite excited to see the uh, director's original vision here for the first time available in the West, because you couldn't play that version of the game out here unless you wanted to, like, import a Japanese PS3 copy of the game that had young Nier in it. So, uh, it's just... One more thing about Nier that is interesting and fascinating and weird. And there are a lot of things like that. So, um... Here, let's go to the, uh... Let's go to the library. Boy, character animation has been improved considerably. <laughs> Visiting Popola again today? Yes, I am. Yeah, wait. I remember. Dark Souls. Talk to people multiple times. Visiting Popola again today? Never mind. <laughs> Hello. Young people always drive themselves forward, but it's important to take a step back and look around sometimes. Words of wisdom. I'm coming to see you today, Popola. I promise. Nothing's stopping you, man. She's right inside. Let's go in. December 1st. Today, Popola sent me a new book about a great big tree. I really hope it has a happy ending. There's nothing worse than a sad tree. <laughs> uh, gracious. Even in this weird apocalypse, we still have a Beauty and the Beast library in here. <laughs> it's like our one resource. We have all books and nothing else. <laughs> How's it going? Seems like people did nothing but write books in the old days. 
and I can't read them either. They're all written in funny languages. That's a neat touch. Mother and father are very busy, so I have to watch my little brother. But I don't mind. He's pretty cool, and we like to come here and look at the books. <laughs> Just coming and looking at all the books we can't read. Can anyone here read these? Now I'm curious. Someone must be able to. Maybe these are just like, it's because they're kids. Can anyone read the books? Can you read the books? These books speak of ancient technology far beyond anything we could ever imagine. What could have happened to this world? What indeed. We'll talk about that a bit later too. <laughs> But I don't want to be spending the entire first episode of this game running around in circles talking about <laughs> the origins of this series. Hey, there's a character up there. Hang on. We need to talk to you. Hello. Popola asked me to organize the books, but I had no idea there were so many. I never should have taken this job. <laughs> no, you should not have. You have your work cut out for you. I hope you brought a ladder. Oh good, there are ladders. You're in luck. There's ladders. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Hmm. That's worrisome. I know. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Thank you. Obtained the Northern Plains map. Uh, press that button, I don't know the name of, to display a map of the local area. You must obtain a map of the area before you can view it. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I used my last one earlier. Here's some money. Obtained a thousand gold. Hopala, this is way too much. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to... It's okay. Really. Well, thank you. Anything else? That's three pieces of mutton and three medicinal herbs, all right? Thanks. You got it. I am on my way. Thanks, Popola. For everything. What's this all about? Just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us. We really appreciate it, is all. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other, right? Besides... Everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. All right. Three mutton, three medicinal herbs. Can do. Um. Hey. Yona? Oh, hey. Yona, you're supposed to be in bed. See ya. Now your ribbon's all undone. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd see if the library had any books about how to cure my sickness. Yona. Look, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. You just need to eat and rest. If you take good care of yourself, you'll get better. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, I've got work to do, so I need you to head home. Deal? Deal. Thank you. Anything more, though? Go straight home, okay? I will. Thank you. All right. I've got a chore. Love the little load screen animations down there. They're super cute. <laughs> There's several versions of it, too, which is great. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall while plague and disease run rampant. If that wasn't enough... Monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It 
it's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. There's no other choice. So, welcome to our setting. As you can see, there's lots of remnants of the old 1400 years ago world around, but uh, otherwise, kind of empty out here. And pretty beautiful too, in a sort of Team Ico way, yeah? There's a really nice art design to all this, which, despite the graphical limitations of the original, it still kind of worked. And, uh, it's really able to sing now that they've, uh, touched it up a bit. Young people always try. Right, I remember. <laughs> okay. Another nice thing, uh, in this remake here is that pretty much all of the character dialogue exchanges have been voiced so far, and maybe they just all will be. Uh, in the original game, a lot of the dialogue, like between, uh, like conversation between Nier and Popola was almost all text, uh, which was fine, but it's just kind of nice having the, uh, having the, uh, characters speak a bit more. Get some, get some more nice voice reads. Also, real quick, we're gonna talk to another character and see one of my favorite little detail touches about this entire game. So, really nice guitar, uh, theme to this area, right? Nice and chill. Let's go to the fountain over here. It's a really great song in general, but I love that the singing portion, especially, is diegetic. Like, we'll still hear the guitar part if we walk away, but the singing is a character in the world. And that's so nice. And if we talk to her... Morning. Hey, Devola. Isn't that so nice? The singing pauses while she talks to you. You keep running around like that, you're gonna trip and fall on your face. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, but thanks for the warning. I know Yona means everything to you, but don't overwork yourself, all right? You got it. See, like, Nier had a lot of problems and was rough around the edges and the middle and everywhere, but little touches and details like that uh, are still prevalent throughout the game and show a lot of, like, thought and care that is really wonderful. This, this is going to be a good time, everybody. There are going to be a lot of... <laughs> there are going to be a lot of stretches of this that work and a lot of stretches that don't, but uh, it's going to be fascinating throughout, I promise you that. Hey, come on! Let's play! Sorry, I've got work to do. Maybe next time. I believe all of the uh, voice, uh, all of the voice acting has been fully re-recorded and replaced as well. Like a slightly new translation and localization and everything for the remake as well. If we turn this entire plaza into a field, we could probably improve our food supply situation. Well, easier said than done, though. Although they did bring back pretty much most, if not all, of the original uh, voice actors, though, from the 2010 game, so that's nice. Uh, anyway, sorry, we got a chore to do. We got mutton and herbs, right. Uh, why is the red X back here? I thought I was supposed to... Okay, well, I will follow the red X wherever it leads. Wait, maybe it's back here because I have a lot, a lot of medicinal herbs. I've been picking some off the ground. Let me, let me just go outside and get the mutton. Save us some time, huh? Run! Hey, do you have anything to say? When you're knocked away, you can defend to recover quickly. Noted. Be careful if you head north. Some of the sheep in the plains are getting restless. Thanks for the warning. Let's go. July 20th. Devola and Popola came to keep me company today. They even sang a song for me. It was really great. I need to practice so I can sing to Nier when he gets back. And here we go. Darn, I love the music in this game. 
Uh, lock on. Press R3 to set a nearby foe as your target. Uh, move R left or right while locked on to switch targets. Note that R3's function will change to pause auto battle when auto battle is active. That, so this bring, introduces two new things to uh, the game that the original Nier did not have. Locking onto targets wasn't a thing. Again, combat in Nier was not great. <laughs> uh, but also the auto battle is a cool thing where if you're playing on easy mode, which we'll switch it down to easy mode later on so we can see this because I'm very curious, you can just initiate an auto battle thing where the game basically handles all combat for you in a very flashy way. Um, so that seems fun. If you're just here for the story and for, uh, like, I think the story is one of the best reasons to be here for Nier, uh, having auto battle is an option is really cool. What a great touch. Welcome to our main open world field area. It's as open worlds go, Nier's is extremely small. This is kind of more like... It's closer to Ocarina of Time's Hyrule field than anything. But, uh, here it is. And it's looking nice. We need mutton. Hey, sheep. There we go. Approach your fallen prey and press circle to collect any useful materials. Very monster hunter-y. <laughs> Alright, a little more, please. Doop 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 do. There are gonna be a lot of times if I'm remembering this game right, and I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, we got wool that time. That's not that's not mutton at all. There's gonna be a lot of times running around here in this game where we're gonna be doing a bunch of fetch quests and uh side get quests this back to the village. that get a little bit tedious. That's where we're probably gonna do our most editing in this series just to uh, trim down the amount of time I'm running around and killing the same random things <laughs> a bunch of times to complete side quest objectives. Uh, just because I'm bored doesn't mean y'all have to be. And hey, the combat's better, so I won't be nearly as bored either. This is going to be good. I'm so glad this game's getting a second chance. It deserves it. Damn. What are Shades doing so close to town? Dying. <laughs> Come here. Let's try locking on. Ah, oh, boy. That's refreshing. <laughs> ah, I need to mix in triangle attacks more often. So if I just use square, I've got, like, my regular just sword swipes. But, uh, triangle, like, gets in some kicks and stuff. And boy, these... I know I've already said it, but these animations are... <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Level two! What do you think, sheep? We had no idea shades were loose so close to the village. Hmm. Well, we got the mutton we need. Let's go back. That was a really nice run animation. I love the lean as you turn. I can't even go hunting in peace anymore. Time to get this meat to the shopkeeper. Yes. Let's do. Ah. This village music with the vocals is like one of my favorite bits of near music, and it's hard to pick because there's a lot of good. Uh, are you the guy? Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and this isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. And tell Popola I said thanks, okay? You got it. Ooh, money. Uh, you can buy and sell items, weapons, and materials at shops. Let's do... Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. Because we need... Well, we don't really need. We have medicinal herbs, but we got the money, so let's just go ahead and buy some extras. And there's health salves to restore more HP, antidotal weeds to cure poison... Ooh, road maps. Eastern road map, the airy map, forest of myth map. Maybe I should buy all these, actually. I'm gonna. I bet I'll wish I had them later. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't grab this one yet, did I? I'm a little short. And this is probably the one I'll need soonest. <laughs> well, hopefully we can make some more money soon. Or I can sell something. Hey, do you want... Can I interest you in some wool? I'm not giving you a school book. There you go. Give me a map. Perfect. 
Come back anytime. I will. Probably frequently. Again, if I'm remembering this game right. Oh, you aren't out hunting today? I just got back. Sure wish I had a nice girl like Yona in my family. Let's go talking to people. Get some flavor. Some of the gate guards make a habit of coming home late. They claim to be working, but I think they all slip off to the tavern and get hammered. It's not right, I tell ya. Listen, it's the apocalypse. If we've learned anything in recent years, it's to treat My yourself now and then. The eastern gate, and he keeps staying later and later. If you see him at night, tell him to come home early for once. I wonder what's for dinner. Why are you asking me? I'm all by myself because mom and dad are working. And I'm bored. Sorry. I cannot fix this. Can I go up these? Yeah, I want to go up these stairs. Is there anything up here? Ooh, it's like a whole area up here. What have I found? Sorry if I'm interrupting anything. You want to talk? I don't need money. Just being with him makes me happier than anything. Oh, well, good. Good for you. Not to be nosy, but... I wanted to become a rich man for my girl. But it's not going as well as I'd hoped. You don't say. Guess I'll just have to save up what little I can. How do you achieve wealth in this... <laughs> Go get him, fella. I'm just gonna swipe some goodies and go. Good luck, you two. What else is out here? Is anybody up on the wall? I bet somebody is. Or... No. Ah, I see ya. Hey. What do you have to say? I sure hope Yona gets better. Aw, oh, well, thank you. Damn floodgates keep breaking down. I fix them and fix them, but they just refuse to stay in place. Hmm. Floodgates. Hello. I wish my kid was half as well behaved as Yona. Yeah, she's pretty good, though she won't stay in bed. I wish my kid. Right. Kid, I hear you're misbehaving. That big wheel moves because of water. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Don't change the subject. Sorry, but the ferry's out of service right now. The ferry, huh? I'm just here to make sure kids don't climb aboard and start wrecking stuff. That's prudent. All right. Uh, back to the main village square area. Or square area. Eh. Anyone else got interesting things to say? Between you and me, working security in the shopping district is pretty peaceful compared to the other gates. Not really, but... <laughs> Thank you for your input. Wait, did you... Oh yeah, I've talked to you already. Hello to you two. And you? We've got some nice materials in stock if you want to take a look. Ooh. I don't really have any money anymore, but... Berries, log, ivy, sap, wool. Wool is expensive. Thanks. My sister's gonna rake me over the coals if I don't get my shopping done soon. She's a real slave driver. And if I wasn't scared of her, I'd tell her so. <laughs> Work on that courage, buddy. Someday. Do you know about the lost shrine off to the east? It's a large stone building surrounded by cliffs. Folks say you can find a number of unusual ores there, but it's a rough area and most of us don't have the guts to try. Hmm. The shopping district's busy pretty much all day long. It's great. I know a lot of this isn't interesting, but I'm just running around. Oh, hi, cat. Yeah, hi, cat. You look cozy. Just getting a feel for the town. Hmm. What should I make for dinner tonight? Y'all seem to be leading pretty nice lives considering the state of the world. We've got some new items in stock today. Uh, pumpkin, beans, tomato, eggplant, wheat. Come back soon. 
What do you sell? Uh, the sheep hunt hasn't been going well. If I don't raise prices soon, I'll lose my shirt. You don't sell anything. Okay, you? The library is the pride of our village. It should be. Those books contain the known history of this land, plus most of the towns and villages inside it. Plus, it never hurts to chat up Popola and see if she has any available jobs. All true. All right, I think we're almost done around here. After this little break, I'd better get my shopping done. Pretty high number of elderly people, considering the apocalypse and all. Not everybody, of course. If I bought everything I wanted, I'd be broke in a minute. Must show restraint. <laughs> uh, you. Welcome. We've got a wonderful line of weapons to choose from. Ooh. I need those. So, one thing that's going to be a slight pain in the butt is that, uh, I can't afford this, is that in order to, um... Thanks for your support. ...access, like, half of the endings, kind of arbitrarily, you need to collect every weapon in the game. Stop um, next time you're free. which is kind of silly, but we want to see that stuff, so we're going to do it. A lot of them you can buy, some of them you get from side quests, I think. I will... Like, I don't remember where all of them are from ten years ago, but I will look up what I need to to make sure we do not miss anything. I hear that wolves show up a lot in the desert beyond the eastern road. Better be careful if you run into them. Noted. Thank you. All right, let's get back to whatever it was we were doing. And we'll go a little bit longer today since it's the first episode and I've been running around doing nonsense half the time. We will pick up the pace, I assure you. <laughs> Else we'll be in this game forever. Nothing worse than a sad tree. I got the meds you wanted. Sorry, should I not be shouting? Is that still a library rule? I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. That should help with the food shortage. And thanks for the herbs, too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Will do. Anything else to say? Hurry back to Yona, okay? I'm going, thanks. I'm going. Can I just jump? I can. I don't think I could do that in the original Nier. A lot of these ledges were not jumpable. Hello, loading bar. <laughs> it's just very cute. All right, let's get back to Yona. She's been patient. Ah, so chill. Isn't this cute, this little side view? There's something quaint about it, and I like it. Welcome home. How'd it go today? Anything exciting happen? Because I just stayed here all day like you told me to. Lies. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. Have you heard of it? That's a silly name. I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a lunar tear make me better? Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Hmm. Uh, Yona? What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. Now, this is a pretty obvious mistake young Nier has made <laughs> the next morning. But I will say, this is one of those places where... So, as I said, like... Okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later. In a second. As I said earlier, two different versions of the main character, Papa Nier and young Nier, and nothing else in the game has changed but the different ages of that character. 
kind of make a lot of parts of the story and character relationships just hit different by just kind of the slightly altered nature of them. Like here, that's a pretty sweet little conversation between a brother and sister just trying to get by where the brother doesn't realize that he has accidentally planted a seed in his sister's mind. Um, if that same conversation happening between a father and a daughter really feels like an amateur parenting mistake. <laughs> With the, if the character's older and should know better. <laughs> but uh, it's just little stuff like that that make the differences really interesting. It, it doesn't make me want to play both versions of this game for a comparison here on the channel, but it's it's it almost makes me want to do that. We're not going to. <laughs> But it's just interesting. I highly recommend if you can manage to track down the original 360 version of Nier. Uh, it's not as fun to play, but it it's it's very interesting. Maybe like watch somebody else's playthrough <laughs> that somebody else, not me, records. <laughs> anyway, sorry, back to it. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Okay. Well, here, actually, here, just to give you a taste of the difference, here is just a snippet of the very starting scene replayed back that we just saw between the brother and Yona at the very beginning, and then that same snippet with father and daughter Yona, and it's basically the same, just with slight dialogue changes, but it does hit slightly different, and it's just interesting. Yona, talk to me. It's okay, I'm fine. What about you? <sighs> Those guys were nothing. Okay, good. Hey, by the way, look at this. I found it while you were gone. Wow, is that a cookie? Here, we can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, come on. You need to keep up your straight. <laughs> <coughs> Yona, talk to me. Dad, are you all right? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. That's good. Oh, look. I... I found this while you were gone. A cookie? Hey, that's your favorite. Here. We can split it, okay? No, you take it. Dad, no. You need to eat something. All right. Give me the small half. No. Come on, Dad. You're bigger than me. You have to eat to serve. <laughs> it's kind of neat, right? So, yeah, th that's that's basically what I'm saying. Just assume for the rest of the game henceforth, there are lots of little interesting differences like that. Uh, it's weird the amount of difference just an age uh, change makes on your player character when it comes to character interactions and relationships. So anyway, what's our next job? Right, I was supposed to go to one of these gates and tell somebody to actually get back home now and then. Is this the one? Is this east? This looks east. Hey, go home. You should quit working so hard and come have a drink. First round's on me. That, that's what I told, was here to tell you. Hey, I can't drink. Besides, I need to get back to Yona. <laughs> But well, that's the sort of fun interaction you can only have with a young near, though. <laughs> like, hey, I can't drink. Shades don't like sunlight. If you're attacked by shades and find yourself in trouble, run to somewhere bright. Will do. Go home. Anyway, good talk. Uh, I guess let's go back to the library. See if we get a new job or something. Do, 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 do. February 4th. I'm going to learn to make awesome food for Nier. I better start working on a new secret recipe. This game has a very slow start, I should let y'all know. Well, it's a sort of slow start. Um, which I don't hate, honestly. This is kind of, this is kind of nice and serene. But y'all, especially those of you who have not played original Nier or Nier Automata, you have no idea the weirdness you are in for. <laughs> this game is going to get wild. <laughs> I'm excited to see the reactions. Hey, Popola. Need a hand with anything? I do have something, but... I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm sure I can handle it. Aren't you confident? Yes. Uh, well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the Northern Plains, right? The one where the pillars all rotted out? Exactly. 
We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. Yes, I know. Apparently, it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it, it could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Oh? That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, are you sure you want to take this job? Yep, I got this. And yeah, see, like, that exchange, too. It's, it's, I can only make these comparisons uh, <laughs> for dialogue sequences in the very beginning of the game, because that's all I refreshed on from the original Nier. But, like, that scene where Popola's very hesitant to send you out to do the job, feel, like, lands a bit different when she's talking to a young kid. Uh, her hesitance for, like, adult Nier definitely makes it feel like, okay, shades are dangerous, and she just doesn't like sending people out to do a tough job, but, like... Papa Nier is very much like, no, it's me Adam. I'm, I'm all for it. Let's go. Whereas, like, I can definitely understand her hesitance when she's talking to a young kid with a sword. I want someone to do... I want someone else to do <laughs> a big breakdown of just sort of, like, the differences between these dialogue sequences between the two differently aged characters, just because it's really... it's turned out to be really interesting. But the rest of the game is just interesting on its own. Tell you what, we've been going for a little while here. Let's go ahead and call it for today. I will be back tomorrow with some more of this. We're going to be playing this Monday through Friday till we're done. <laughs> and it's going to be a good old time. But, uh, yeah, there's lots more near ahead, and I'm very excited about it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!